Los Angeles, California, 2009. What I'm about to write is a testament to the proposition that life is chock full of second chances. Believe me, I should know, as I've personally racked up way more than my fair share of these little godsends. Richard Wallace Rude, that's my name. Technically, anyway, but most people just call me Whitey. I'm a relatively healthy, 50-something, regular Joe in Los Angeles, California, the city of angels. It's been home for me for most of my adult life and where I still earn a decent living as a private investigator. That's right, a private dick. The Alexandria Hotel over near Fifth and Spring, a seen better days flea bag of a flop house, is where I hang my hat daily. It's not the Ritz, but it's close to the action and the price is right. Translation, it's cheap. I was a damn good cop for better than 22 years in the city. A detective first grade for the last 12. Man, life was good. Aces, actually. Right up until the day my wife, the lovely Rhonda Rude, informed me that she was changing teams. That little revelation inspired me to book a two-year vacation package to God knows where via Air Booze. Needless to say, the department wasn't exactly supportive in my choice of therapies. So after a long string of missed counseling sessions, the LAPD and Whitey Rude divorced as well. What's this all mean to all of you? Nothing, I guess. Just setting the mood for what I'm about to write. All right. Now we're properly introduced, so let's get to the good stuff. This case is actually pretty interesting, and it all started like this. Little Tokyo, Los Angeles, California. Monday, February 16, 2009. It's 12.30 p.m. Her name was Sally November. Sally was young, 25 years old, or so her dossier read and she had big dreams, according to Uncle Lou. He said that she had come to the U.S. from Taipei to pursue a career in advertising. Well, she was advertising all right, and her clientele was apparently on the dangerous side. Actually, this whole thing was going to be a double shame because now I had to go back and tell her Uncle Lou that I had found his missing niece. Lou Rong, his life partner Jay Lai, and I go way back, all the way back to when I carried a gold shield as one of L.A.'s finest. They are a pleasant little homo couple, though. They run a Jewish delicatessen. Yes, I said Jewish. In the financial district on Wilshire. You know the white-collar side of the town. It had a catchy little name, too. Show em, you like em. Lou and Jay had bankrolled her trip to the States, where she was supposed to attend USC majoring in business administration, with a minor in finance. That was six months ago, and now here she was at the Biltmore Hotel, a run-down bastion of yesteryear, quite literally across the street and down the block from my own digs at the Hotel Alexandria. Except for the long silk tie wrapped tightly around her neck, she appeared to be only napping, as if she'd wake up startled by my presence at any moment. But of course, she wasn't sleeping. She was dead. <laughs> 